Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk to you about my favourite spring products. These are a few products that I'm really looking forward to wearing in the next few months when it starts to get a bit warmer and a few products that I'm changing my routine with as spring finally arrives. Okay, so the first product I'm going to talk to you about is a lip product and it's the Rimmel London Apocalypse Lip Lacquer. This is in the shade Nude Eclipse and it's a lovely nude colour and you kind of need a new colour for spring as we're kind of forgetting all the dark berry tones of winter and starting to introduce more light tone colours. What I love about the lip lacquers is that it's kind of a lip gloss and a lipstick. It has the glossiness of a lip gloss but it also has the pigmentation and the stain putness if you like of a lipstick. It doesn't have that horrible sticky feeling which I just can't stand in a lip gloss. So I was really excited when these come out and I would love to get some more shades. Okay, so the next lip product is the YSL Rouge Volupt in Peach Passion, number 13. And I'm wearing this at the moment, and it's probably my most favourite lipstick for the springtime ever. It's that perfect peach colour, which kind of just gives you a pop of colour with any outfit you're wearing in spring. You can even wear it on a night or in a daytime. And what I love about the YSL lipsticks is that it's very moisturising, because obviously in spring it's still a bit chilly, so you still need that moisturisation for your lips. Okay, so moving on to nail varnishes, and something I've really been living for the past pretty much two years of spring is OPI's Princess's Raw, and this is a lovely baby pink sheer sparkly nail polish, and you can either wear it just with one coat and it's really sheer, and it kind of, give, kind of gives your nails a nice glow, or you can really build it up and you can see the sparkles with it. But I'm absolutely in love with this colour and as I said, I use it pretty much every springtime now and it even carry it on to summer, so, you know, definitely a must have. Okay, so another nail varnish is absolutely amazing. It's one of my all-time favourites and it really works well with spring because obviously it's pink and it is Essie's A Cut Above and as you can see, it's just just full of sparkle. When I first saw it I was like I have to have it. So I just kind of use this on top of most baby pinks like the OPI and you can use it over pretty much anything to be honest and it just gives your nails a nice sparkle if you're going out and about or if you just want to make yourself feel pretty. <laughs> Okay, so a face product I've been loving recently and I can't wait to use more of this springtime is Rimmel's Wake Me Up Concealer. And I've been using this under my eyes and it really reduces the appearance of dark circles in the morning. It's meant to be really radiant and it gives you a nice glow. So I've really been loving it. It's nice and light, which you don't really want around your eyes because obviously you don't want something cakey that makes you look all wrinkly and scary. But yeah, it's really sheer and it's definitely a must have for the spring and summer as it's, as I said, light and easy to apply. Okay, so moving on to eyes, this is my go-to eyeshadow for springtime and it is Stila Kitten Eyeshadow and it's just this one here, that's the highlighter. But I've really been loving this um, this springtime as it's a pink champagne colour that really brightens the eye and you can just use one sweep of it and it looks like you're good to go for the whole day but as I'm wearing it right now I'm just put a bit of brown on my crease and it just makes it look I don't know it makes your eyes look really vibrant and pretty it's um sparkly and I absolutely love it it's probably one of my favorite all-time ever eyeshadows but yeah it's really nice spring as it's just light and pretty. Okay so moving on to fragrances, this is a new perfume that I've added to my collection recently and it is Marc Jacobs Daisy Sunshine and it is the prettiest bottle ever which immediately drew me to it and as soon as I smelled it I was like oh my god that is my spring fragrance definitely. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. Anyway I'm not very good at describing scents or anything but it's a fruity floral scent and it's an eau de toilette but it does stay on for a really good time and obviously like most perfumes the smell kind of changes throughout the time you wear it but it still maintains that really nice fruity smell which is lovely for the springtime and it kind of reminds me that summer's on its way and you know weather's getting warmer and it's just a really nice thing to wear. Okay, so the last item I'm going to talk about is a candle, which I know isn't beauty related or makeup related, but 
obviously I'm talking about changing things up for the spring and one thing I love to do is change scents and I love candles at Christmas time I always go out and buy like Christmas scented candles like cinnamons and like just all that jazz and for spring and summer I picked up a Yankee candle in pink sands and it's really fruity and fresh it's not it doesn't stay around for that long so if you get annoyed at the smell um you can just kind of have it on for a little while and it's just a really relaxing scent um obviously it's pink so it looks really pretty when it's burning and I absolutely love it and I can't wait to use it more. Okay, so that is it for my spring beauty and non-beauty favourites. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please let me know. Other than that, have a great day. Bye.